Hello everyone and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you are new here, I am the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. If you are returning, welcome back Soul Family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for returning and for sharing your time and your energy with this collective. Alright, so I'm actually going to start off with an oracle deck today because that's what I feel like starting with. It was the deck that called out to me the most um, this morning. <sighs> Inviting all our spirit guides. Join us in this reading. Share with a message with us that we need to hear, not what we want to hear. Hmm. We have protection. There's one, two, three. So I feel like if you've been questioning about your protection, so like if you've been wanting to do something, a protection ritual, the one, two, three is signifying yes. Um, do what it is that you need to do to protect yourself, your home, your family, um, your business, whatever it is. I'm also seeing here, I'm getting a lot of motherly energy for obvious reasons transformative energy with these butterflies here i'm seeing that while the earth is shifting in its vibration while we are all awakening to this higher dimensional timelines so to speak i'm seeing the change around us that we are protected but at the same time don't forget to protect yourself Okay, so I know that might sound like, well, if I have to protect myself, then I'm not protected. I'm just saying, like, if you have a gate outside of your house, and the gate is locked, but you leave your house unlocked, what's the point? Like, yeah, you're protected, but you're not protected. So what I'm seeing here is to be extra careful for example i'm seeing a lot of spirit guides of course they can be many places all at once but i'm seeing like uh, you want them to help you help them out too you know what i'm saying share that protection with your spirit guides too when you do that protection ritual that you've been thinking about doing it do it for yourself, for your loved ones, and for your spirit guides because they could definitely use this protection while there's all of this bullshit and chaos going on. There's a lot of people that are trying to stop these gods and goddesses of every single pantheon. All these angels and demons, so to speak, trying to stop them when they are all trying to help each other help us. And people don't see that. People are the ones that are keeping people stuck. Okay. There's a lot of heart chakra. Interesting though. You've seen this uh, light emanating from her heart. Today, I don't wear my colored jewelry often, but today I really felt like wearing green. Um, I'm just feeling very heavy in my heart today. I have a lot of like heart chakra stones in my pocket. Um, <clears throat> let me pick a random one. A random. Which stone? This one. Okay, there's two. So we have Unikite and we actually have Abalone as well. So if you feel drawn to, I'd recommend look up the properties of Unikite and Abalone. Perhaps there is a significant 
um, message there for you. Uh, with the unikite, there's a lot of, it's like a lot of root and heart chakra healing. <clears throat> It's a very physical and emotional type of stone, unikite. And abalone I see as being a very mystical type of mineral. What's this? Happiness. There's a lot of a lot of butterflies here, so even if you're fearful about the changes that are happening on this planet, on this earth, the vibration that we are being raised to, this is saying to focus on your happiness, to share that with others, despite all of the shit that's going on. There's always going to be people that refuse to allow change into their life. And those are the people that are keeping us stuck home. There could be something about family life. Maybe you've been feeling drawn to protect your home or move away from home or there's something about home here. I'm seeing cleansing, cleansing the home, protecting the home. <clears throat> I'm seeing something about family, or soul family. Not all family is physical. Okay. When you feel alone, and you feel like you have no one, you have your spirit guides, you have your ancestors, you always have those on the other side. They're always there for you. Even when you feel like they're not, even when you feel like they're not paying attention. And don't think that they don't care. They just got shit to do too, you know what I'm saying? Friendship. If you've been wanting to reach out to your friends, to hang out with your friends, um then this is a confirmation to do so. If there's someone in particular that comes to your mind that you have been wanting to reach out to lately, uh, then this may be a confirmation for you to do so. A family member as well. The people know that you care about them. I heard some people may feel like you don't care. What's that? Healing. There's a lot of heart chakra healing that's going on. Uh, even this friendship card, you can see this uh, light emanating out of the heart. With this friendship as well, I'm getting... Having that friendship, that connection with your spirit guides. <clears throat> see them as your best friends. See them as family. See them as something closer to you than something so far away. Healing. I'm seeing healing in relationships, in friendships, healing with family. Okay, I heard red peel, blue peel. She has a couple rings on each index finger. One is red and one is blue. So what I'm getting is in this energetic shift, in this timeline, that things are changing. It's up to us to decide to, to go with the flow and to open up and expand and evolve into the change or to refuse change and stay stuck. I'm seeing... There's a lot of people that don't want to admit that there are changes amongst us. And I'm not just talking about physical changes. I'm not just talking about political changes. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about spiritual changes. 
changes and shifts within our own energy and within our energies as a collective. <laughs> Transformation, definitely. There's been a lot of change and transformation going on. It's up to you to decide to be open to it or to stay stuck and behind. Peace. Know that amongst this time, people, I feel like people are thinking all hell is going to break loose and it's going to be the Armageddon. Armageddon, it's going to be like the end times, everyone's going to die, like no, don't freak out, things may get hard before they get better, but like that's not something we're already used to, what I'm seeing here is acknowledge and appreciate the peace in the transformation, when the caterpillars in the cocoon I don't think it's worried about I saw 11 11 I don't think it's worried about what's going on outside of the cocoon I think it's just resting and transforming it's focused on its own transformation and when it becomes a butterfly it is something beautiful that is released onto this planet so what I'm seeing here is find peace in this change, find peace in this transformation, find peace in the stillness or the chaos of whatever is going on around you. Find peace in it. And that may be very hard when it feels like everything just feels like shit. I get it. But what what is around you that that you're grateful for? What are the opportunities that you are trying to reach so that you can overcome the stillness? And when you're in the stillness, be in it. And be grateful for it. Acknowledge it for what it is because that is also a necessary part of our journey. We can't be go, go, go every single day. You have to have your days of rest. That is just as important. If you've been feeling like an emotional wreck, and you need that one day to just be alone and cry and like really just delve deep into yourself and into the pits of the abyss of your soul and just kind of figure shit out and do it. People who really love you should under should be able to understand what you need. But you also should be open to being honest about what you need. I don't know if I'll get to tarot today, but <clears throat> we'll see. Strength. <clears throat> More butterflies. You have the power within yourself. Don't give up. No matter what's going on around you, don't give up. You can manifest. Then manifest. The thing is, you have to believe in it. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith and trust in your manifestation. Two of the biggest components to manifestations being able to work and come to life is visualization, that realization, and that belief as it is if it had already come into existence. If you have been trying to manifest, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've been trying to manifest something and you really feel like it's just not working, really ask yourself, is it because I believe in it or is it because I'm always doubting my manifestations? Is it because I'm always questioning it? Is it because I'm trying to rush it, trying to be quick, trying to... not have patience? 
patience is important. Patience is key. Whether we like it or not. Boundaries. It's time to stop letting people cross your boundaries. It's time to stop allowing the vicious cycles to continue in your life. Focus on heart, body, mind, and soul. If people disrespect you, put their ass straight. Tell them what's up. And if they still disrespect you, get them the fuck out of your life if you need to. Move away from them. Distance yourself. Take care of yourself and those around you that you love. But don't be taken advantage of either. Find, find healthy balances between every aspect of your life. Heart, body, mind, and soul. It's all important. It's all important. Talent. You are talented. Do you know that? Are you aware? Or do you lie to yourself and tell yourself that you're not? It doesn't matter how many likes you get. It doesn't matter how many people are willing to commission you or pay for your services. Just because they're not willing to, just because the clients aren't coming, just because the recognition has not come to you, doesn't mean you're not talented. You are talented. Keep at it. Don't stop for anyone. Just as you would dance like crazy in your room that people would probably never imagine you being able to dance or sing or whatever it is. Whatever it is that you do behind closed doors and complete faith and trust within yourself to just express yourself, share that with the world. The world needs it now more than ever. And even if you think people are not paying attention or don't see it, don't think that's the truth. You are talented. Just some people might not want to admit it. Okay. Do your thing. Do your thing. Art, music, dance, theater, um, fashion, photography, film making, like working on cars. Building beautiful treasures out of trash, whatever it is, blessings. I have this, looking at this card is giving me this feeling of sadness. I, I see somebody like, when is it? I see 1818. When is it going to be my turn? I see loneliness. Someone who has a beautiful heart. I'm seeing brokenheartedness. I heard distrust. Just because you've experienced the worst in life doesn't mean that there's not people out there that actually deserve your trust there's this longing in her eyes that I see maybe you get a different vibe from it but I'm seeing this need to have hope and to believe what you see in the physical world around you right now is not the end all be all. That is not all that exists. Psychic abilities, you are awakening. You are you are being able to hear and listen to your spirit guides better. Those intuitive downloads that you feel, you're trying to balance the spirit and the earthly plane. 
You're trying to balance the cycles out. What's that saying? Be... Be... Of the world, but not... No. Be part of the world, but not of it, in a way. I think that's a scripture or something. But what I'm seeing here is to find balance. There's nothing wrong with partaking in things that you enjoy in the physical world. That's a part of the human existence. You, as a human, are blessed with this human life. And although it seems like shit, the shitty part isn't what spirit has set for us. The shitty part is people being shitty to each other. It was never meant to be that way. But it's people's fault for being people. And not for being that, how can I say? For allowing themselves to be toxic. Awaken. Any spirit guides that you, I see 2121, have been wanting to connect with deeper, do it. What's what's stopping you? The fear? If you fear your spirit guides, then you do not trust them. I don't think there are any spirit guides that would want you to fear them in a distrustful way. I think if anything, they'd want you to fear not accomplishing your best in life. I think if anything, they'd want you to fear them if you were disrespectful to them. But a true friend, a true family member, somebody who really loves you, whether they're a spiritual being or a physical person, or even an animal, they would not want you to fear them. It's like when people say God is this fear-mongering thing. I don't believe that. I don't. I never will. I'm seeing aura. Maybe you see aura or maybe that's something that you're trying to practice or something that you should practice. Or maybe you know someone who sees aura. Follow your intuition. Open up your eyes. And not just the physical too. Open up your eyes. Expand, evolve, be aware. Awareness is key. How do you begin anything in life? Awareness. Having the awareness is the first step towards change. Hey, well, you know what? I'm not the best person. None of us are. But then you're aware of it, so how can you change it? Hey, you know what? I realize I want to have my own business. Okay, you're aware that you want to do that. Now what? I realize I need a better job. You're aware of that. Now what? I realize this relationship or this friendship is not doing me good. Okay, you're aware of it. Now what? What are you going to do about it? It's okay to take your moment to like really feel the emotions of what's going on, but don't allow that to keep you stuck. Your spirit guides are with you. Listen to them. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities that you're getting. They are speaking directly to you. Do you hear them? They're showing you signs and synchronicities. Are you paying attention? Are you finding the balance within yourself? Enjoy living here on this earth. That's a part of being human. Partake in being human. But don't forget that spirituality is just as important. Find balance in your life. Find balance with work, with school, with family, with your spiritual practice. And it doesn't have to be religious. 
even if it's just you connecting into yourself, that is important. <laughs> is this why you're here trying to fall off? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Anyway, let's see. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much. I see closure, though, and dreams. I'm going to put this back, though. Um, there are too many cards. Uh, and then I see justice and a bunch of other cards. Financial health. But let me go ahead and put all those back. Follow your passions. I heard if the world was going to end tomorrow, are you going to be proud of who you are? Are you going to be proud of what you did, the mark you left on this earth? Even if no one was to see it the next day, would you be proud of yourself? Or would you be disappointed that you gave up too early? on something that you could have manifested. I'm hearing different things for different people. Career. We were talking a little bit about career. There's a... I was going to say a light at the end of the rainbow. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Don't give up. Just because you're not happy with where you're at or where your business is, don't give up. Courage and compassion. These are two things that we all need to embrace and have more of during these shifts in the timelines of this planet and the universal consciousness and everything that's going on, we need to have the courage to move forward, to move past the challenges, the tribulations, the turbulence. But we also need to have compassion for the world, to find balance within ourselves, heart, body, mind, and spirit. We need to be courageous to follow our dreams to manifest that. I heard healing hands. Your hands were created, were meant to create. Let them create. What is that for you? It could be anything. It could be making clothes, making jewelry, making music, making art, making random things. <laughs> I heard <clears throat> random cosas out of like porquerias so like random stuff out of like random shit you can make anything what's stopping you but you we need to expand and evolve and share that with other people. Don't be afraid to show people who you really are. As long as you're not harming anybody, as long as you're not taking from other people or destroying people's property or shit like that, then why are you hiding? Embrace who you are. Share that with the world. The world needs to see it. You have something that you can bring to life that's meant for your hands to bring to life. That idea that you have, that business, that whatever it is, you want to take commissions, you want to perform more, start branching out. Start putting more of yourself out there. 
okay? Don't be afraid to try new things, to go new places, to meet new people. Let's bring community together. Let's help raise the frequency of each other, of ourselves and one another. Let's have the courage to stand our ground and protect ourselves and our loved ones. But let's have the compassion to be open to communicate with each other and to see that we're all different and we all think differently. All right, so let's find a balance, yeah? That's what I'm seeing, what's under career, yeah. Again, there's butterflies, there's a murder of crows, and there's a bunch of butterflies. I heard, find your flock. <laughs> Things are transforming around you. Do not give up. And I know things may feel shitty and like nothing is changing. Keep, excuse me, keep going. Excuse me. Your pickaxe is about to hit gold. But if you don't mind, if, if you don't keep mining, you will not hit that gold that is right on the other side of that wall. You just need to keep picking at it. And it's exhausting because you've been picking for like years and years and years and you don't see any gold. You're right there. You're right there. Keep manifesting. Keep believing. Keep doing your thing. All right? Um, keep loving yourself. Being there for yourself. And don't forget, you're not alone, okay? Really, really. Um, but yeah, so... I hope that message brought some clarity and perspective into your situation. And I... am available for private readings. If you're interested, then let me know. In person or virtually, I do pre-recorded ones as well if you're interested in that and uh, yeah thank you so much for tuning in and i hope to see you in the next video whenever that is bye